everyone! Today I'm going to show you what I keep in my everyday indoor bouldering bag, which I have right here. <laughs> now this is going to be very different than what I bring on an outdoor climbing trip, but rest assured that when it gets cold enough here in California and I get to go outside, I will show you another video of what I bring on an outdoor climbing trip because that will be much more extensive and a little bit more interesting than this. I got this bag from REI. It's just their Flash 22 pack, I believe. So 22 liters, just big enough for an everyday bag. I am going to share with you first the essentials, what you definitely, definitely need if you are going to be climbing indoors or anywhere. What I have clipped to my bag on the front, oop, they just came off, are my climbing shoes. So the climbing shoes that I have right here are the So Ill Streets. They are a somewhat more aggressive shoe. It pinches your toe a little bit and it can be a little uncomfortable at times, but something to note about these shoes is they actually run like one and a half sizes too small. If you are a size seven in women's like I am, you are going to want to order an eight and a half shoe. But what I really recommend is just trying them on because I actually ordered these twice until I got my exact size and that was such a headache and I could have been saved a lot of trouble if I just went and tried them on in the first place. But I really like these. They have a lot of friction and have allowed me to climb some difficult climbs. Next, what you are going to need is a chalk bag that is full of chalk. So I don't get any fancy chalk, I just get the $1 gym chalk right here. And I would just ask the front desk of your climbing gym if you could have a chalk block and they'll give it to you for like a dollar. And something that I mentioned in my other bouldering video is that I actually put essential oil in my chalk bag so that it smells nice and I just figure the aromatherapy is pretty fun and you know gives you a little bit of extra energy. I'm just going to take half of the block. Oh, it's harder than I thought it would be. Okay, it's a little more than half, but um, you get the picture. I'm gonna put it in my chalk bag, crumble it up, and when it has been sufficiently ground up, what I'm gonna do is put some essential oil. So right here I have rosemary, pine needle, and grapefruit. Outdoorsy scents, I don't know. I don't know if they'll work, but here goes. I'm just gonna, gonna put a couple of drops each and I'll just shake it. Nice and homogenous. Awesome. Something you wanna keep in mind when you are choosing a climbing bag is the inside of your climbing bag will get full of chalk if you decide to put your chalk inside your climbing bag. So make sure that it's a bag that you don't really care about or is not too expensive. Moving on to things that are not technically essentials, but you should think about having in your climbing bag are as follows. If I am going to climb after work, then I bring a change of clothes. And when you're climbing, something that you might wanna consider is just wearing long pants or leggings because when you're climbing, there is the possibility that you might scrape up your legs as I have in the past. Another thing of note is that your leggings instead of your skin will be the ones that are getting ripped up. And so you don't wanna be getting $200 Lululemon leggings. <laughs> just generic leggings should be fine because they will get scuffed up a little bit. And I have friends who just climb in normal streetwear pants. It doesn't give you the full range of motion that leggings or climbing pants will give you, but if you're not very flexible to begin with, first of all, you should be working on that, but second, it probably won't matter and you can just wear your regular street jeans or chinos or whatever. And as for the top, I have something that is a little bit more flowy and breathable, pretty tattered and on its way out, but I figured that's perfect for the climbing gym because a lot of your clothes can get ruined anyway. So this is just like very, very breathable. It allows my arms to move around and it doesn't ride up when I'm on overhangs or upside down in weird conformations. Next, you are going to want to have a water bottle, obviously, for any exercise that you're doing. You should keep hydrated. Most climbing gyms won't allow you to bring water bottles onto the actual mats, but keep this in your bag. You're gonna wanna drink from it when you get thirsty. That's what water is for, am I right? I like to keep a snack in my bag as well, along with the water. So here I have a cookie from the cookie department. This is kind of like, almost like a Lenny and Larry cookie. This is actually vegan, which I'm a fan of, and it is pretty much a meal in a cookie. 
Moving on to the smaller pouch that I have here. What I have is a little baggie. If you are climbing at a gym, your front desk probably has all of these things, but just for emergencies and just to make sure, you wanna have some Band-Aids on you in multiple sizes. Not only because you will get flappers if you are climbing, which are just like skin tears in your fingers that flap open and are very painful, but also because like I mentioned earlier, when you're climbing and you're a little reckless on the wall like I am, you're going to scrape your arm up like I scraped my arm up last week over here. I don't know if you can see it. So you just wanna like slather it with Neosporin, which I also have in here. Yeah, just like a little travel Neosporin. In the event that it does happen, you are good to go. Like I said, your gym will probably have these on hand, but you always want to be prepared. I also have some bobby pins in there. You know, you know. Your gym will also probably have this on hand, but I like to have some climber's tape on me because anytime you want to tape up your hands, maybe you've got a flapper, maybe you've got a pulley and you need to wear this somehow. This is just really nice, especially if one of your friends that you're climbing with doesn't have it. You want to be the mom friend or the guardian friend that carries this and is someone's savior at the end of the day. When I was starting out climbing, my hands would get so raw after sessions that it would hurt to touch things. And so a friend pointed me to the direction of Climb On Bomb. And what this is, is a lotion bar. So it says here, soothes and moisturizes cuts, scrapes, split fingertips, blisters, dry cuticles, cracked heels, burns, doggy pads, diaper rash, and more. Made in the USA. So it's got all these natural ingredients, which I'm sure many climbers dig. And it's pretty greasy. You can tell that there is a protective barrier on your skin. So if your skin is predisposed to getting quite irritated after climbing, or if your skin hurts after you climb, I would recommend this. So whoever recommended this to me, thank you very much. It has been very useful. Going along that point, chalk is designed to dry your hands out, and so after you climb, you've got to fix that. So here I have some hand lotion that is just like a little bit easier to coat evenly on your hands than the Climb On Balm is. After you're done climbing and you wash your hands, just slather this on your hands, you'll be good to go. Another thing, if I'm climbing by myself, I'll always have some headphones on me. It um, sends a message, don't talk to me. I'm just kidding. Climbing is a social sport, you should interact with people, but if you just wanna listen to your own music, hey, no one's gonna judge you. The last thing that I have is just a solid perfume bar. Um, it's a natural perfume bar. It is made of all natural ingredients. It's just something nice to have in your bag if you want to freshen up after you've had a long session of climbing and working up a sweat while you do so. Like I said, this collection of objects gets a little bit more interesting when you're going outdoors because there's a lot more equipment that you need. So like I said, I'm very excited to get into those things once climbing season starts here. But until then, I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and I will see you in the next one. See ya!